so this is Alice I am of the stars and uh, I just thought I'd add a note to my ongoing blogs about unconscious s symbolism as you may recall the subconscious mind thinks in terms of metaphors and and it it envisions a metaphor as some kind of action, some kind of physical action by the physical body. It doesn't understand the greater abstract meaning of a metaphor because it's not equipped in that way with abstract notions. So uh, the metaphor that's come up recently is um, cutting someone down to size. And what's come up on the clear audience plane only is the male notion of the importance of um, of manhood, which is pretty much cross cultural, and um, and this this um, this metaphor, which is playing out very uh, um, unusually on the clear audience plane, um, the subconscious of the man apparently envisions cutting someone down to size as the act of like whittling away at their genitalia in some way. It might be um, just cutting off the foreskin for instance uh, or cutting off the tip of the penis or cutting off the entire penis or complete emasculation of a man and, and so depending on the astral matter, the coarseness of the astral matter of the man involved, apparently when he thinks of this term, cutting someone down to size, he may consider some, uh, some iteration of this notion of, of, of um, cutting someone else's genitalia down or off. And so the, um, the practice uh, I'd like to bring in the practice of, of feral packs, wild animal packs, uh, for instance wolf packs, where there's always one leader of the pack and then there are many males that are not permitted to mate with the females in the pack. Only the leader of the pack, as I understand it, has that right. So in a group situ setting, in a group situation, where the subconscious mind wells up during this ascension process, what might occur, for instance, just as a hypothesis, is that the leader may react to the upwelling feral drives uh, that that are part of the clearing of the of the ascension process, and may uh, decide to cut the other men in the group down to size in a physical way, according to the like the pack instinct not to let the men mate with the women to 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 perform some ceremony that that um, alters or whittles down the genitalia of the other men in the group now this may also involve according to the like the subconscious symbolism that's coming up him actually consuming the portion that's been cut off and, and just, just in the very clear subconscious context, what that means is not that the man that undergoes a rite of manhood ceremony is his manhood is not enhanced, but rather that the leader of the, of the group is, is consuming or destroying or the manhood of the person that's being initiated. Do you understand? So... So when uh, a man, say, in Africa, there, there are, and in China, I think, I think I've heard this, there are remedies that in, uh, for manhood, like lack of manhood, that involve eating the genitalia of some animals known for their ferociousness. Probably costs a lot of money. And this ceremony, this idea, of doing this to a fellow human being is just along the same lines. You're whittling that person down to size and at the same time you're actually consuming or eating his manhood in order to enhance your own, yours as the leader of a feral pack. So that's how that upwelling of subconscious notions is, is happening right now uh, on, on the astral plane. And uh, the only thing to remember of course is that 
you don't want to enact this situation. It's just an imaginary situation. You don't want to enact it on the physical plane because then the person that was involved in such an initiation would need to go and get skin grafts and that would be expensive and painful and it would be embarrassing, you know. And so, uh, so there, further there's a story going on right now just to show how one subconscious thought leads to another. There's a story on the plane that this has happened putatively, right? And that the person that um, that has been had the had the tip of his penis removed in an initiation ceremony now has a needle in the subconscious notion instead of a penis because of the change in like the shape of the penis, you know, the wedge shape. Uh, becomes more, I would assume, become more like needle-shaped. And so the subconscious mind, which has been injured by this ceremony, would say something like this when the when um, intercourse takes place. It would say, I will stick a needle in her because the shape of the penis has changed. Yeah. Right, Lou? Okay. So, so I have heard that a couple of times on the internet, as if someone were imagining that had happened to him, and uh, then had performed um, intercourse and and was was feeling as if his his genitalia were shaped like a needle, and then further that leads to the notion of injecting, of injecting uh, uh, someone else, a sexual partner with a drug because sticking a needle in her, you know, it also means, it has this alternate meaning of drug use. So you may find that when a, when a person, in the rare example in humanity, when such an action has taken place, that they may gravitate to drug use, be, uh, that's in, what do you call it, intravenous dr drug use, IDU, right? Uh, if if they're if they're they've undergone such a ceremony or for many other reasons too uh, no doubt well I'm talking a lot about things that I know nothing about that I've only heard about on the Claire Plain and the reason reason I have two reasons really for talking about them one is that I enjoy this notion of deciphering dreams and subconscious symbolism as through metaphor and this is one excellent example, very physical example. And the other is that, that I do have a concern for all the men who are undergoing this ascension process because men are more action-oriented than women and I hope that they will be able to achieve this process without too much uh, discomfort or physical pain. So I'm hoping they won't fall for this kind of a kind of a feral like feral representation of reality because reality itself is far greater than that far um, the, there are 72 dimensions not just physical reality physical reality is only the third dimension so by preserving our body temple by making our body cells happy during this process, we will get to the greatness of our of our manhood and our womanhood, the true greatness. So, y'all take care. Take good care of yourselves. <laughs>